Hi, it's uh, Tony here from PropNuts. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick whistle stop tour of the new motors uh, which I've now been using for about three, four weeks, uh, which are the Emax 2306 uh, 2400 kV white motors. So these are the upgrades since the since the original red bottoms that we had. Um, still got red bottom though, so it's just a new version. So let's get down for a quick review. Um, I'm not going to go through thrusts or uh, thrust testing, current draw, um, you can find all that on the internet already. I just want to give a quick opinion about how I find the motors personally to use. So first of all, they come in your standard Emacs box. Um, you get the motor, you don't get a uh, Allen key this time. But you do get two sets of bolts, and the two sets of bolts come in packets which are marked 3mm and 4mm, which you select depending on your base plate frame size. Uh, that way, it's, it's really good actually, it means that you can get the right length of bolts uh, that maximise the amount of engagement you got, but without touching the windings. So there's no fear of that now. Now, these are 2306s as opposed to 2205s which are the old red bottoms so the old red bottoms are here See one there. now they may look a bit bigger it could just be uh, the the um, color really because they're only one millimeter wider in diameter and one millimeter taller so you can still see they still fit on the QVX frame and they don't overhang the arms. Other noticeable differences, um, there's a nice little screw now at the bottom of the motor shaft instead of the circlip. Um, I believe the RS versions of the red bottoms also had that, but the old ones used the, the circlips which in my opinion are an absolute pain because um, they pop out, changing motor wells and stuff is also annoying, um, you need to buy spares, whereas the bolts should hold up a little bit better for maintenance. The other thing is uh, you've got a hollow shaft up there as well, so um, you, you basically can decrease the, the amount of weight um, the motor is. Um, also, you notice the shaft is quite short. So there's kind of low profile nuts on this. Now these are aftermarket nuts that I had to get from Hobby King. Um, the original flanged nuts that they provide are would fit with these props actually. Uh, but when you run the likes of the Racecraft, kind of big props on the Racecraft, these ones, um, what I found was that the prop nut, the nylock portion of the prop nut wouldn't actually grip the, the shaft because it was just too tall. Um, so I had to buy even lower profile prop nuts so uh, they wouldn't come loose when I had a bit of a strike. So you can see there's a bit of a height difference on that and the shaft isn't really done up on these but gives you an idea. So what do I think about performance? Well the performance of the 2306s uh, are quite noticeable in difference actually. So what I've noticed is you get a lot more kind of lower end thrust. Um, the throttle control at the bottom end seems to be more responsive. So I guess it's a, a result of higher torque that you can get from a slightly bigger motor uh, and a slightly higher KV. So that's 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 in in my opinion that's great. It's my style of flying. I, I'm not all out all the time. I, I quite like the the low end throttle um, and the acceleration you get. In terms of top end speed, I think you get uh, probably a little bit more than the RS versions of the red bottoms. Uh, but according to Fraser, who's flown them uh, both, he says the, it's maybe slightly noticeable, but not much. So I wouldn't expect much more top end speed from them. Um, anyway, from the 2400 kV version, uh, there is a 27, which I believe should go a lot faster actually, but 
Uh, and also the other thing is the difference from the original red bottoms is massive. Um, a lot faster, a lot more acceleration. That's what I've noticed. But they can, however, draw, depending on how you prop it, draw up to about 46 amps, which is quoted online. Uh, now that is a massive amount of current, uh, 46. So you're almost drawing 200 amps just short of 200 amps if you go full out on all four motors. Uh, so you've got to make sure you've got uh, some, some decent LiPos to, to handle that. Um, I've flown it on a range of LiPos from your some battered old graphenes. It, they do the job, they fly, but batteries sag really badly um, just due to the current draw. Um, but I've got a set of R lines now and wow, yeah, the difference uh, that a good battery makes. Definitely make sure you've got some good batteries uh, and some high amp ESCs as well. So 30, 30 amps, I would say, would be the kind of minimum you'd want to run on your ESCs. Um, so really, that's everything. That's my thoughts on these motors. Uh, in general, they're very good. They're quite expensive. Um, so far, they've been robust. I've crashed them many times uh, and there's there's no issues with, with them whatsoever they're very smooth uh, bearings seem very good um, overall very good quality motor I would say if you're looking for a top-notch build I'd recommend uh, trying them out so really that's all from me uh, I'm not going to talk about thrusts uh, or current draw or in a motor test uh, because there's plenty of this online you can find it out there um, just wanted to give you a, a quick personal opinion of, of how I find the e motors all right cheers very much uh, we'll see you again shortly for another whistle stop tour of uh, some new kit that we've got cheers <laughs>